What's up everybody, it's Sparrowwood Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Subnautica. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we had managed to basically acquire all of the prawn suit upgrades for the most part. Or at least the ones that I'm actually concerned with right now. There are still, like, I think two that I haven't made? Maybe? Maybe I finally did those, I don't remember. Um, that's the wrong room. I need to check over here. Um, and there's been basically a major patch that went through, which is really, really cool. Always looking forward to new patches. I think... I don't think I've done the grappling gun. Or the torpedo arm. I have the materials to make those, but I don't think I've actually done them. Um, so yeah. The Dangerous Creatures update went through, which brought a few things. Unfortunately, I was already back here. Um... Otherwise, we could have actually seen two of them right off the bat, which was the new Tree Cove and, oh, I'm gonna forget its name, Sea Dragon Leviathan or something, which looks awful. And by awful, I mean amazingly cool looking, but like terrifying, and I hope I never see it in game <laughs> kind of thing until they give me something that can um, withstand its attacks and can kill it, and then I'll be happy. I don't know, I think they've, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they've virtually made the Cyclops subs kind of invincible, I think. I don't think there's an actual hull integrity on them anymore and stuff like that, so I'm pretty sure that it, I mean, we know it can withstand a, a Reaper Leviathan, but I don't know how it would withstand against the new one. Um, there's also two other things, one of which we may, 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 Welcome aboard, maybe, look into today, uh, which is the third abandoned base, which I gotta be quite honest, I really don't know where the second one is. I found two on the, on the island, um, but that was it. I don't remember running into any other abandoned bases. So I don't know, I don't know what those are. Um, I did see that there's a third one though in this update, which again, second one, not really sure where that is, but at least there's a third. And I looked, I gotta remember where it is. It looked like it was in the Grand Reef. I get the Grand Reef. I think that's the Grand Reef. It's like, the Grand Reef is weird. It's it's that place that has like two different biomes within a biome type of thing. Uh, I think, unless I'm getting it confused, but basically it's the place where you get the blue floating orb things. Um, unfortunately, it seems that the new update did not do much at all for my frame rate. Which is a little disappointing because I really don't feel like I've done too much for the frame rate to be this fluctuating. But it is. Unfortunately. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's because of these plants. Maybe I should take the plants off. I don't know. They they seem to have kind of like two updates ago. Or maybe it was more. Maybe it was more than that. Maybe like four of them. Four updates ago. Something like that. They seem to have really rebalance the food like the hanging trees fruits are not just the end-all thing anymore I mean they do give you food and water but it doesn't just fix everything like it used to um, but it also seems like you use a lot more food and water than you used to like I've just been walking around in my base and I'm down 10% and 15% it's kind of like um okay so it's kind of I don't know I'd like to get rid of the trees because they're probably doing a lot of that, but I don't want to because they've also raised how quickly all that goes. The other thing is there's some kind of new reinforced dive suit or something, which is what I was looking for in here to see if it just automatically was in our blueprints or if it's something that you have to find. And I didn't actually think to look it up on the wiki before I actually started recording, so... I don't know whether or not it's just supposed to be in our inventory thing yet or not. Um, I suppose it might be listed under Seamoth upgrades. 
And it could also... I mean, is it a prawn suit upgrade? I don't think so. We just looked at this. No. So I probably should look that up at some point. And without any seeming explanation, and without any pause or something, I just all of a sudden figured out where I needed to go and how to get it. Totally just came to me. Did not pause and look it up at all. <clears throat> um, so we need to go, I, you know, my intuition is just telling me we need to go to the um, blood kelp area for the blood oil for no real specific reason or anything. It just, you know, just seems like the thing to do. Um, we have two of them. I would actually need, let me double check this. Uh, it's under advanced. We need three blood oil per one of those. Is it under advance? Yes. Okay. Fiber mesh, which is creep vine, I believe. Creep vine. Yep. So we need creep vine and benzene, which is a total of six because we need two um, meshes. You know, it just it seems like the amount you would need to, to make that um, kind of just an arbitrary number. And we'll also need the fragments which are in, you know, my gut just tells me the mountains or the dune wrecks. Um, not really sure why. I'll probably go with the dunes, basically because it's a little bit safer and it's actually a little closer to the main base location. And we can go right from there to the Grand Reef, which is where the third abandoned base is. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking we'll head out that way. Okay, so here we are in the blood kelp biome, zone, blood kelp zone, whatever, where we should be able to find some of the blood oil stuff. There is a bunch of it, actually. I don't know, I guess these things are hostile? Are you guys hostile? I don't know what that was. Let's, uh, let's pulse him. Let's see what happens. Be gone. And yes, I know, I just made a prawn suit and didn't bring it with me, but I figured... I don't know what I was thinking. I think it was just that I had my Seamoth loaded up and I was just out here for... Dude, come on! Get him. Go away! Oh, that's actually hurting my ship. And... EMPing me. That's not cool. Okay, dude. Be gone. Oh wait, I have torpedoes, don't I? Uh, I just gotta remember which one is which. That's a vortex one. And he totally missed it! What a jerk! Oh, whatever, he's leaving. Is he? Maybe not. Wasted a torpedo for nothing. Risk it. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that was easy. <laughs> now I'm sure I could actually acquire more and blah 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 blah, but at the moment it's need over um, availability. Like I really don't need any more than that, so why bother? Uh, so the next stop is going to be the dunes, I think, and we're going to try and acquire... We're going to try and acquire the fragments needed to actually make use of this stuff in order to make our new dive suit. Okay, so we made a quick little pit stop over here at the mountain wreck, actually, because it just kind of dawned on me, you know, if the wiki actually shows two different locations, probably a good idea um, to investigate them both. That's kind of my my thought process there. That's a prawn suit th fragment. So I don't know what this actually looks like other than reinforced... Okay, it looks like a regular fragment. Got it. That's what it looks like. <laughs> In case anyone was wondering. Um, let's, let's turn our light on here. That looks like another one. Hey, look at that. Nailed it in one. Alright. 
So we don't really need anything else from this area, so let's get back to the ship before a Reaper decides to eat us. Which would totally be my luck. Uh, let's see, we'll set that like that. Let's check out what this actually does. I know it does something like, um, reinforces armor or something. Heavy aramid fiber dive suit providing 50% physical protection. Okay, that's cool. So we have that. So let's head back to our base at the moment. We are going to basically make that and maybe grab our prawn suit instead of the sea moth since I totally kind of had a lapse in memory that I had that equipped and not the prawn suit. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to make the new dive suit and then probably head out to the abandoned um, sea base. The, the third abandoned base is kind of what I'm thinking because... Um, I don't really want to go all the way back through with my frame rate the way that it is to the the um, Lost River, especially since it's basically just a giant tree and probably something that is going to terrify me and I won't be able to kill it anyway. So at least the uh, abandoned base, we might get some new PDAs, new information, stuff like that, that uh, would be interesting to look into. So let's go back to the base and we'll make up our new suit since we totally have what we need now. Okay, so we are back at the base here, and I did leave my terraformer on board the Cyclops in order to make one trip and carry all the supplies that I needed, because everything... For the creep vine, I managed to get the creep vine on the way back, actually, because I passed right through a uh, creep vine area. So it was like, why not? Um, okay, so first of all, we need two of these fiber meshes. Now for me, I don't know. I'll probably keep this around, but eventually I'll end up making um, one of the which McCollum's. Oh, I need to grab, I need to grab my other blood oil. Uh, I'll probably end up making one of the still suits, since those basically give you back water. Um, because yeah, they've they've really changed the. Uh, hunger and hydration setup. Alright, reinforced dive suit. This seems fun. Okay. Now we have to take off the radiation suit, which shouldn't be a big deal. Um, let's see, lead-based radiation protection. It doesn't necessarily tell us, it just says providing 50% physical protection, so... Status of the Aurora's crew and the ship's long-distance communications relay is indetermined. If any of the ship's data coils remain intact, it may be possible to salvage this information. What the heck did that come up for all of a sudden? <laughs> Talk about random. I built a suit. Oh, I had another one. Or maybe that was the same one. So I build a suit, and I get notified about the crew of the Aurora? What the heck? That doesn't make no sense. Um, I have found, too, you can actually eat, it seems like, as many of these as you want, as long as you give it about five seconds in between. Give or take. I mean, it might be more, it might be less, but I've found that if I count to five and then do another one, I can keep filling my hydration meter without getting that whole blood poisoning thing that you lose all of your hunger and stuff. At least that's, again, that's my experience with it. Uh, I'm gonna do that for now and leave it alone. Now, we need to switch out our prawn suit and the other guy. And let me just double check. How's the hull doing? Oh, maybe I can't see it from here. Darn. Alright, so we're gonna take out the hull reinforcement. And apparently I turned the lights off. How'd I do that? <laughs> okay. So apparently you can just turn lights off. Because reasons. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, we're, okay, there's my other guy. 
So hull and everything's fine on this one. I did repair the sea moth, so we should be good to go on that. Let's take out the pressure compensator. Nope! And for now we'll just throw the hull in this guy. And we'll go ahead and park him in the now dimly lit station. And we'll throw the depth in here. 1700. Um, you know what? Before I run off though, I should probably grab the drill upgrade. Just in case we decide, hey, you know, there's a big cluster of quartz or something. Like, I I was kind of missing not having my prawn suit when I was over in that other area, in the blood kelp area and stuff, because of that very reason. Uh, there was big chunks of uh, quartz and other stuff, and I was like, oh, if only I had my drill with me. Now if only I could remember where I put my drill. There you are. Give me. Okay, so that should be fine. We're just going to dive out here, I think. And go grab our suit. We'll get in the Cyclops. And then head over. It is in the Grand Reef. I just got to figure out where exactly in the Grand Reef. Eh. That's the only part I don't like about the prawn suit is trying to dock it with the uh, Cyclops. And we have floaters. Really? Come on. Mm. What? I have never scanned these before? For real? Okay. Alien life form floater. Okay, why can't I grab you? Now, do I have more? Looks like I might have more. I hate those things. Those and the Minoc things from the other area are just probably to me like the most annoying things in this game so far. I don't see any other ones, but it's still floating up in the air like it's got something stuck to it. Maybe it's because I haven't moved it. Let's try moving it. And I want to say... The sea moth, or sea moth, the Grand Reef is somewhere like in this direction, give or take. I still feel like I'm hung up a little bit. Not sure if I am or not, but it kind of feels like I am. Ran over something. Alright, so I will meet you guys over at the Grand Reef, and hopefully I will have found the base, so we don't have to just wander around looking for it. Okay, so we are actually in the Sparse Reef, which is this place, but I kind of wanted to take a second just to experiment with the prawn suit. Um, I haven't really done this yet, and I found to three big chunks of quartz. What is going on here, by the way, with my ship? Now we're going to go ahead and throw the drill on that, but let's investigate this, because I did not move this this way. It was not like this, so I'm thinking I still have floaters somewhere. Or something, because I can't see this ship just floating into the wall. That doesn't make any sense. But I'm really not seeing... And you know, I've seen these panels here a couple of times. It makes me wonder if eventually they're going to do, like, upgrades for the Seamoth. Or Cyclops. Whatever. That one. I can't figure out what's going on with my ship, though. I think it's drunk. It's kind of what I'm... I'm going to go with drunk. It's a drunk ship. Um, I do think I might pull the propulsion arm for now. Because I want to be able to just pick stuff up. And this looks normal, but let's test out the whole drilling thing over here. And this guy. Okay, 
Okay, so we got one. So is this like two, three, probably three pieces, or maybe four? One, two, that would have been my second. Three? Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. So that's three in total. So maybe five per chunk. Come down. I got it. I got it. I'm gonna get it. Oh, I got it. That's four. Five, six. Okay, wow, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> Seven? Eight! Wow, so you get eight pieces per, like, drill. Or not, yeah, per drilling chunk, I guess. Alright, cool. Now, let's see if we can make it... That's the one thing I don't like about the suit's jumping mechanic, is there's no, like, lateral, so if you're moving at an angle... It just kind of... There's no, like, inertia or lateral thrusters or anything to get you to go in a different direction. Um, I don't know what is going on with my sub, though. Because it kind of feels like it's just floating and stuff, and it shouldn't be. But I don't see any more... Um, I don't see any more floaters, so I don't know what's doing that. Okay. Now... Let's find, and it should be somewhere deeper around here that you get into the little glowing orbs. I think. Maybe. I'm still considering in the sparse reef. And I think Grand is actually past this? I don't remember. I remember the look of this, I just don't remember where the Grand Reef is in, in relation. I think it's further away and down. But I don't know for sure. This isn't looking right. There it is. There's an orb. Alright, we're good. We're on track. So yeah, I forgot about that too. I don't know if that's an unofficial name um, that's just in-game and then in the actual wiki or whatever, it's all still considered the Grand Reef or not. But there's the Sparse Reef, which was kind of where we were. And then I guess this is actually the Grand Reef. Yeah, here we go. So now, the question is, how do we find this abandoned base? It should just be kind of chilling out here somewhere. I didn't get the exact coordinates and I didn't look them up because the... Um, the picture in the video, well not picture, the picture in the video, the uh, this section of the video that talked about it or showed it just kind of had it sitting on like an island with these floating orbs. So I kind of figured we'd just get in here and look around and eventually we'd just find it because it's not really something that seems like it would be that hard to find. But it doesn't help that, of course, by the time I got over here, nighttime is hitting, so everything's dark down here now. Um, I don't know, actually, if everything's dark down here anyway or not. But it's not helping anything. So I think I'm just going to poke my nose around here until I run into something, and I'll be back when we find it. Okay, so this is new. Um, I've never actually run across sea traders. Or sea tra yeah, I always say that sea treaders before. Um, so this is a first. I've been looking for them for forever. I've even gone through their path, and still never found them. But I was still looking for the other place and ended up uh, seeing movement. So we get to see sea treaders in their natural habitat. This is amazing. Just look at him. He's angry! <laughs> I bet if I poke him... Actually, I did read something, I thought, where if you do something that's overtly hostile or whatever, they are uh, aggressive or can be. 
But still, that was kind of awesome. Did not expect to run across them. Um, I'm still on the hunt for the base, though I did look up on the wiki and found uh, the general direction. And I've been using the coordinate system to try and find it. Uh, let's see, 640... or negative 640 was our left number there. So in that, we're good, but then on the right number, we need to be at like negative nine something. So I'm in the wrong spot for that. I can't, I do wish they would explain because the coordinate system is kind of one of those, it's, there's usually two different ways that you do coordinates and it's kind of annoying that it doesn't actually specify. I think say the Y is the middle. I want to say this is an XYZ plane and not a... Oh, what's the other one? Whoops! Never take your hand off the wheel. <laughs> um, there's another way to do it though that it's like XZY or something like that that... Uh, that's making that number go up. We need to make that number go down. That's making it go up. That's the frustrating part is because it doesn't really tell you which way is which. You end up kind of like, okay, I'm still doing the wrong thing. And it doesn't help that visibility is so bad. Okay, I'm still making the number go up. That needs to go down. Meanwhile, the other number is going way too high, so I'm definitely going in the wrong direction in certain aspects. Right now I need both of those numbers to be going down. Okay, this is more the direction we need to be going then. Because I need to get the left to about negative 640 and the right is negative 9 something. And I'm actually not deep enough. I need to be able, but every every time I start getting close to the number, I run into something like this where I end up having to go over something, so I can't seem to get any lower, which is kind of annoying. Because according to the wiki, I should be at like negative 400 something on my depth. And I'm definitely not there. Alright, we're back to 640. It's like I'm, I'm running into a wall at 300 and it's kind of like, um, well, in order to go around said wall, I need to go over, not lower. So I'm having a bit of a hard time getting the coordinates to match up my current terrain area here. That's becoming a little bit of a predicament. Because um, it just does not seem very conducive with uh, where I need to go. I guess it's over in this area, but like I said, now the f now the one number's in like the 500s, and I'm kind of like, no, I need you to be in this. Did you not get the memo? And the other number's not going down enough, so I keep in in order to get around terrain and stuff, I keep end up and ending up messing up my coordinate system. But this is promising because now I'm actually getting to go a little lower here. Closing in on the 400. I gotta keep orientation of my ship in mind, though. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Like, we have to be within relative... relative eye, eye shot type of thing. Oop. Hooked on something. I'm so glad that this ship does not have hull integrity at the moment. Because that would just be awful for me at the moment. Because I keep running into stuff. Maybe it's further down here. I'm still off on my coordinate data, though. Okay, that's going up. It should be right around here if the numbers I'm reading are right. But I'm not seeing it. 
Um, we could, I suppose, get out and start exploring with the prawn suit a little bit. I don't think it would be too much of a problem. Let's, uh, throw this power cell back in place. I'm having a very hard time keeping my power cells up, though. Like, it just seems like it... They just want to stay around a certain... Power reading. Detecting a titanium mass somewhere in this area, unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. Now, that's an interesting message. It's probably the base, but... But... I will also say... Okay, just send me flying, why don't you? Um, I will also say I did pass a... Um, whatchamacallit? A wreck in this area as well. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that for now. Okay, what am I looking at here? That's making that go up. So in turn, this is making it go down, but it's also making the left number go down. So I want to go this way. Because, but see, this is my problem. This is, this is what I've been running into. My depth is relatively about the right area now. Um, <laughs> but like I said, the one direction is making the one number go up and the other one go down, and it's like, but I need to go left then to get the 440 number to go higher, but there's a wall. Everywhere I go, there's just a wall. And so it's kind of like, um, how do I make this number go up when everything I'm running into is just an obstacle that won't let me do that? Okay, maybe it's like in this direction... I don't know. I cannot get these numbers to line up, though. It's really kind of aggravating me at this point. Because, like, now the 300, now that well, other number's down to 300, it's like it keeps just going down now, no matter where I'm going. This is why I wasn't sure about using the prawn suit, is because when you run into a wall like this, you're going to end up using a ton of energy for thrusts and stuff to get up higher. Though I guess with the added propulsion thrust, it's not too terrible. And I'm back up to 200 on a depth. So I'm definitely having a coordinate problem here. Oops. Oh no, that was interesting. Hold on a minute. What was... why was my temperature up so high? I must have missed something. My temperature was very high, and I think it was actually starting to recharge my suit. Is it like in a cave or something? Because I'm not seeing any kind of entry point in this vicinity other than something like this. Which I'm apparently stuck now because reasons. What the heck? What's going on? Not, you can't tell me that that suit can't fit through that. I guess not. That's dumb. There's no way. I don't. I, I also don't understand why these two numbers seem to be intertwined. It's like I finally got the one to go up, but now both of them are going up, and it's kind of like, come on, guys. It really seems like it's on the other side of this wall, but then when you're on the other side of this wall, there's nothing there. And it tells you to go the other way. Oh, wait a minute. This is promising, but now both numbers are going up again. Uh, maybe not. Okay. This has, this has potential. This might be where I'm... This might be what I'm looking for. Doesn't help that my frame rate is atrocious. Okay, this shows promise. It really shouldn't be that hard to find an underwater base. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's underwater, but it's a base. Oh, here we go. Now my temperature's up really high. It's got to be these heat vent area things. So, with my uh, thermal gener- oh, there it goes. Okay, so I'm actually generating um, energy. Although, I'm really, really low on water. I did not realize that. Dang nabbit, see? I hate how they've balanced the new hunger and- like, I haven't done anything. I should not be, like, about to die of dehydration. I was barely out here for five minutes. Alright, so I still haven't found this place. Okay, and we finally found it. Get off of my ship. Move it. Stupid squid. Get out of there. Um, so we actually found the ship final or the base finally. And good gravy, no wonder it's abandoned, being all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. Under everything. Like, who put a base out here? You know, besides somebody like me that wants to put their base out in random places. Oh no. Not a lot of land in the area. Go, 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 go. Ugh. Okay. I wonder if I can, uh, if I can grab that crab guy and chuck him somewhere. That would be kind of funny. Okay, I'm not seeing anything we really need to investigate in terms of, like, a world? Hey! He's actually hurting my health. Get out. Go. Get out of here. Oh, that's cool. So you can actually use... I didn't know if that would work or not. <laughs> so you can actually use a drill. Uh, let's see if we can throw things at him. That did not work as I was hoping. <laughs> but anyways... All right, so let's let's investigate. So there's an aquarium. Can I like? I can't dismantle this stuff, can I? Because that would be cool. Be like free stuff. Now wait a minute. I've built an observatory. Why am I able to scan the observatory? Okay, that did nothing weird. Okay, we got another PDA. What the heck? Oh, that's not even fair. He just hit me through a wall. Come on now. Not cool. How is that a thing? Okay. So that was some audio log thing too. Ooh, can I scan this, please? No? You all suck. Pick up lab container, why not? No signal. Just not let me scan stuff. Pick up artifact. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Stupid air. Welcome we are going to have a little bit of an issue if this guy keeps bothering us, though. Caution. 30 seconds. Yeah, I know. Remaining. We're already working on it, lady. Go on. Go on. Just be gone. Now, I can't take this... I don't think I can fit through that right there with this suit. Seems kind of wishful thinking. Be gone! Oh, you're hurting my ship. Or my suit. Well, I don't know if I can kill these things or not, but I feel like a drill to the face totally should have killed him by now. That's just me. Alright. In, dude. Go. There. Let's investigate. This, this looks like a lab type of thing, though. This is kind of cool. Though, I will admit, my curiosity is kind of piqued with the whole, um... With the whole, uh, artifact thing. That was unexpected. 
Alright, so this doesn't go to the other areas, though. Like, there's other sections down there. Hmm. No, you dummy! Get in the suit! Alright, let's... You just stay over there, jerk. Okay, so I guess we can get in that way. Which is not really a stretch, it's just a giant cracked open summer, uh, sub base. Okay, more stuff over here, I guess. Anything to be scanned? Ooh, another PDA. Picture frame. Another locker with nothing for me to do with it. Coffee vending machine. We're definitely taking that. Okay. Alright, so I don't think there's really anything else to see here unless I'm just absolutely missing something. doesn't seem to be anything else like down here or anything either. So I'm thinking we're pretty good to go on investigating the new base. Now let's see if I can miraculously manage to get back into the ship. Nope. Go this way. Nope. Go that way. Go. Do it. Okay, it hurt me for reasons unknown. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. Next episode, we'll probably... I will probably head back to our base and start working on expanding the base and stuff like that. But I'll probably go over the PDAs that we picked up um, on this episode. So that uh, we can kind of see what's going on with the whole abandoned base stuff, because we picked up like three, I just don't want to go into something really long and have to read them all right now. So we'll probably pick that up next episode and then head back to um, our base. If there's anything that I missed in terms of the sea bases and stuff like that, I know I didn't show everything in the update, but uh, if there's anything I missed on the base, do let me know because I will probably leave uh, our ship here and then in the next episode we'll start off here if there's something else that I need to see otherwise we'll pick back up at our base so I think that's going to wrap things up here in the meantime I hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like and I will see you all next time peace